Good afternoon, my name is Agnolia B. Gay. I am an actress, a published poet, and an educator. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you my first project, Thoughts from Within and Other Poems, by, of course, Agnolia B. Gay. It is a personal project that I didn't really think about publishing. And I put a picture on it, uh, I put a title to it, and I thought to myself, ooh, that looks like a book. And so, before I even thought about it, I hit publish, and there it was, all of my personal and private information in a book for the world to see. And so today, I am going to share with you some of my favorite poems. I thought about kind of categorizing them, but that was a little too stressful. And the whole purpose of poetry for me is a form of release. So I hope you enjoy uh, some of my favorite poems um, as I share with you today. They're not in any order. We're just gonna put them out there. And it is my hope that men and women walk away uh, being able to relate to them all. So often we always want to check somebody else. We always have a word of um, encouragement, a word of uh, information um, to take someone else to the next level. This poem says check yourself. Stop looking at other people and look at yourself. That's uh, pretty simple. Stop taking care of everybody else and check yourself. You're always willing and ready to help, but quiet as it's kept, you're the one really in bad health. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually drained, living in constant pain without the first damn clue about what to do to help you. You find yourself in a constant struggle to help others, while you die daily from self-inflicted neglect, void of self-determination, self-esteem, and self-respect, totally and completely unaware of your own need for help nor the cause and effect that such trauma places on yourself, your spouse, your child, or your mama. Need I go on? Sisters, brothers, friends, and or significant others. You need to start your own healing process, but first, you have to admit your own self is in a mess. All it takes is confession. To start the regression, that is the true test of time. It will help you unwind and free your mind from the stresses and strife and all the other world hater, low raider, instigator, frustrator, adjudicator, manipulator, aggravators of life. Accept the fact that you too are experiencing some negative inner shit and stand still for a minute so your ass can deal with it. Check your damn self. And stop acting like your superwoman man ass don't need no help. Quiet as it's kept, who do you know in this world that's living with a perfect self? You better check yourself. What I write is not just for me. This gift is not just for me. Whatever your gift is, it's not for you. You were given that gift to give to others. And to not give your gift is the horrible thing. I'm going to fast forward to another one of my favorites called Take It or Leave It. Did I fail to mention I'm not fighting or competing for your attention? This is not a race for first, second, or third place. You may or may not believe it. I really don't give a damn how you receive it. But the fact of the matter is you can take it or leave it. I will not call you day after day asking your ass if I can come over to play. I refuse to sit night after night hoping we can catch a movie or maybe get a bite. I've been there, I've done that, and it's a known fact that a woman is a fool 
who accepts those rules. Now you may or may not believe it, I really don't give a damn how you receive it. I will mention this little fact for the last time. Don't bother to waste your time or mine with your lying, crying, jiving, and conniving bullshit lines that ain't worth a dime of my time. You will not use, abuse, or confuse my mind. It does not matter how cool, handsome, buff, or intelligent, and talented you are with your lines as you whine and dine me time after time after time. The fact of the matter is, believe it, receive it, achieve it, or grieve it. I really don't give a damn how you receive it. It is all or nothing. So take it or leave it. I need poetry like a football player needs to play football. A basketball player needs to play basketball. A fisherman needs to fish. I need to, to write my poetry. I need to express myself. I need to to, to pin uh, on paper what I uh, have in my head and in my heart.